Hello, I am Joe Alexi, and welcome back to Maryland. So we're here at Margon, and I did a little research. The place that we were looking for wasn't on the main road at all. And we're being attacked. Wonderful. Pretty much we're looking for a tomb that this wandering trader decided to seek shelter during his ash storm. Now the guy in there said that he's up here on the main road, or the place is up here on the main road, and it's just off to the right a little bit. Now when we came through here, it was overwhelmed with ash storm, so we didn't see it. Couldn't see it at all. But it's not on the main road, it's actually behind the main road. See, it's back up in here. Ah, get away from me! Big on evil. This is it. This is what we've been looking for. So all we got... What happened here? Interesting. We didn't kill this one. He must have crashed. So what we're going to do now is we're going to head up in here. Save this dude. Ah, wonderful. We're going to go save this guy. And then we're going to run him back to Margon. And then what we're going to do is we're going to help this other guy that's just over the hill. We're going to take him to Cold Cave. Now, when I googled the information about this, I didn't look in the dungeon to see how big it was or dangerous. Can I get some healing? Thank you. Ah! Thanks for try being on your here. I've been stuck in here for days since the ash storm. I was too far from town when the storm hit. I took shelter in here until the storm passed, but then I couldn't get out because the door was stuck. I've been here for days. The sooner we travel together back to Margon, the sooner I can get out of here to do my business. Travel together. Can we travel together to Margon? Follow me. Take me to Margon. Ooh, to the shrine. All right. All right, so my dude got locked in here. Yeah, poor guy. Wait, what is his name? Okay, that is the guy. I was about to say, I thought that was somebody else for a second. Tricking us. You know, like a bandit, a group of bandits robbing the guy, and then one of them will just like say that they're him to get you to leave the place while they continue to do whatever it is they're doing to the guy. It's terrible. Terrible. It's the kind of shady dealings that the bandits do. Well, I've never seen them do it, but, you know, I wouldn't put it past them. You can't trust them. All right, come on, sir. Now, pretty much all we got to do is just deliver him back up into here to the shrine. I think that's where he said he wanted to go. And that'll be the end to this quest. We'll have to go back to the Redorn people, Namita, and tell her that we completed it. But instead, what we're going to do is we're going to help that dude down the road get to Cole Cave. Do I know you? And that'll put us back in the general... My guy. Where are you going? Yeah, where are you going? Dude! Come on. Come on. What the hell? Quickly, Outlander. Yes, glitch your way this time. way. What is it, Outlander? I don't know. He's just evil eyeing that guy. Come on. All I need you to do is just up this way. Yeah. Yeah. Do your little glitch step and let's go. This is it, ain't it? All right, here's the shrine. All right, we made Thank it. You. Can I talk to you now? Thanks for getting me back to Margon, Joe Alexi. You're welcome. Rothran Tomb. It saved my life, Joe Alexi. Too bad I couldn't save my Gore, too. Oh, that's sad. Terribly, terribly wow. sad. He tried to save his Gwar, but they didn't make it. 
You know, I think it would be like extremely hard to live in like these times because, well, the ash storms alone would be a pain. But if you had to like herd your stuff from one city to another to like sell it, you know, to make your money, and ash storms rolled up, and then you got bandits and all kinds of stuff, and whenever you did like get into like some trouble and needed help. The ordinators, they won't leave the city to do anything. Like, they don't police the roads or the areas surrounding. We're going to go in here and look around because, you know, there might be something in here we can use. Can I wait? Nope. That's fine. We don't need to wait. We're going to take a peek anyways. Oh, come on. So, I changed the batteries in my mouse, thinking that would fix my problem. But for some reason, my right mouse button is, like, sticking to Oh, shoot, fire. Okay. Okay. All right. I need to kill these guys fast because I don't know what they hit me with, but it really hurt. Or at least it looked like it was going to really hurt. Alright. I don't know what this stuff does, but we don't come across it very often. Oh, he don't have any. Going back to what I was saying... I uh, updated my mouse batteries, but for some reason my right mouse button is still messing up. So I honestly think I need to update my mouse. Need to change it. Ooh, heavy leather boots. We can't, we can't wear that, can we? Nope. That was a good find, but not for our character. Terrible. All right, there's might still be shit in here because it's telling us we can't wait. Yeah, there's still something in here. There is still something in here, and we only got three uses. Oh! All right, that's as far as we could go up this path. We hit the dead end. We don't have a lock pick to get through there. That's fine. I mean, it happens. I honestly wasn't expecting to get anything good out of there, but, you know. Speak, traveler. Hello, sir. Pardon me, can you help me help a poor pilgrim? I've been trying to get to Ruddy Man, but I've lost my way. If you would be so kind to help, I could pay you 150 septums upon our arrival. I need to get there rather quickly, though. I'm on a pilgrimage, and there are others I must meet there. I must be at Ruddy Man in Colt Cave within two days. Can you help me? Sure. Excellent. Let us get on our way then. It's on the western shore, so we must hurry. All right. All right. He's following. Now, the good news is our last episode, whenever we were looking for that tomb, we went all down this main drag, so there shouldn't be any enemies to slow us down. Except him. I guess we could just go at a steady clip. Now, pretty much what I'm going to do is try to get him to Ruddy Man this episode. So in our next episode, we could just go back to uh, Aldrune and pick up our next Redoran quest. That is my train of thought. But there is no guarantees on how this will go. Our feet look so funny, especially when we stand like this. They just look like big human shoes, fur shoes. I don't know. They look goofy. Oh, behind you! Oh, you're alive. Let's go. All right, so I wasn't expecting that dude to just come jetting over the mountain and try to take his head off, but 
We'll have to be aware of that. And our poor character hasn't got his dinner for the day. As far as I know, ghosts don't, or cats don't eat ghosts. They do eat birds. I don't want to classify that as a bird. So with all this messed up weather we've been getting, it's snowing. Surprise, surprise. I actually like the snow. It's pretty when it's snowing. It's very enjoyable. Especially when you're inside and it's nice and warm and you got a nice warm drink and you can just look out at how cold it is. Alright, so once we get down to this one spot, there's a curve right here we cut over. See, we're not going to be able to get over that with him. But once we go so far down, there's actually a little spot we can cross around. That's where we're heading to. You know, I just thought of something. We could use like a... Uh, hey, we can use a... We can use... A spell. Well, I think we can use a spell. Create a spell that does like a fortify speed or something and put it on target so you can cast it on somebody else so they can run faster. We might test that. That seems like a good idea. Like the potion making and the spell making on this is just phenomenal. I love it. There's just like so many different ideas you can come up with and like little things tricks and stuff that really changes the gameplay come along dude it's the sun's going down you're burning daylight and that's just what we need to be stuck out here in the dark all right i think this is getting close to yeah this is our hook around come along sir Uh, it's so beautiful. I love the way Morrowind looks. Or Vardenfell, Morrowind, whatever you want to call it. I love the way it looks, but a lot of the time you can't ever just get a good look at it because of the ash storms. Come on. I hope he doesn't step in the way. All right, you're good. Let's go. Now, I could I could do this. I could come on. I was going to suggest we can wait right here to heal up to get a little bit of our health back, but we're not low that low on health. And whenever you do the uh until healed ability when you're waiting it lasts a little bit longer than you expect it to last come on buddy we need to go our dinner for the day yes you want some of this no well no he's coming like he does want some of it He's like, you're not eating that without me. <laughs> hey, there's old boy. Oh, we never did get his potion. We'll remember it. It might take us a couple months, but we'll remember it. I mean, we did that to him last time. We kind of just like minded our own business and didn't mess with him again. Until we was going through and using our journal to find quests we didn't complete. And then we found that one and it's like, oh yeah, that's right. We said we'd be right back. And instead we never came back. Well, I don't want to say we never came back because eventually we did. But we said we'd be right back. You know, and that was roughly like two months later. <laughs> It happens. I mean, sometimes you just gotta go with the flow. 
All right. I need to go a little bit more up this road. So I'm playing this solely by memory. I don't remember exactly where Coal Cave is, but I know it's like right up around this crap because it's like a cliff overhang arch type deal that's down by the water. Hey, are you friendlies? <gasps> hey! Oh, I remember you. Let me know if you need anything. I've also been having trouble with bandits. You help me with the mud crab shells. See, maybe you can help me with these bandits. They've hit me and two of the other gar herders near here. I watched them last time as, and they left almost due south with one of my prized gar. I think they're hiding out in an old cave south of here. South. Okay. Okay. You're late to the party. We got a job, my guy. All right. We need to go that way. We're not nowhere near where we need to be. Actually, what time are we up to? 16 minutes. We can make it. I have faith. Actually, we can make it nice and easy if this dude can navigate this hill without like doing what I usually do and take off like a bat out of hell, sliding down it. All right, that takes us that way when you go this way. Come along, Junior. Destiny awaits us. Yeah, I need to come more this way. Junior! Like, I would call him by his name, but I don't know his name. What is your name? Faunus Rethrin. Faunus Rethrin. We're going to deliver Faunus Rethrin to Cold Cave. That's our mission. Yeah, without the ash storms, this place is like really beautiful, even though we don't have like. Get out of here! Even though we're dealing with a nice orange sunset, and it looks like some fog's rolling in. <gasps> More dinner. Come on, Faunus. Faunus, is that his name? I don't know. Alright. We need to hurry, my guy. Alright, we should be seeing it. Like, we should have visual. Any second now. There's an egg mine. For real. Yeah, get out of here. All right. Come on, Faunus. No, don't go down that. Don't go down that. Don't go down that. That's a trap. All right. I think we're right on schedule. Well, we're probably not right on schedule. We're just... I don't know what a nice way to put it. We're lost. But I think we know where we're at. We need to get to where we can see that arch. That means we're close. All right, shoot. Come on, dude. No, please don't fall down in that damn water. You idiot. Okay. I thought he was gonna be dumb. All right, this path might take us up to it. Come along, sir. And it's getting dark. Can I use that yet, or is it still dead? Nope, excellent. So it does charge fairly quick, the ring does. It just doesn't do enough health. Healing is what I'm getting at. Crap. All right, we're pretty much out of time. 
not for sure. I'm, I think we're close. I think we're close, but instead of walking around in the dark and getting lost, I think what we're going to do is seek shelter in here. In the Veloth Ancestral Tomb. Is it dangerous in here? Can we see? Oh my god, what was that? I have power. Oh. That could have been. As I've told you, I need to go to Coal Cave in the next day and a half. Let's be on our way. Alright, so we got a day and a half to get there. So this is going to be our stopping point for today. And we'll finish him up in tomorrow's episode. But... Ah, oh, he's ruining my outro. There we go. I hope you enjoyed the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. You know what? I just <laughs> completely drew a blank and, like, completely forgot how I usually do my outro. I don't know. I don't know. But I hope you enjoy the video, and I hope to see you in the next one. Thank you for watching, and as always, stay awesome. <laughs>